Barcoding is integrated directly into Composer using existing auto number and auto text functionality. In this example, we'll create a simple auto text example. So we start off with our ampersand 1 and go into our repeats merge dialog box and click on text merge. I've already prepared a little example file, so I'll select that and use that. And I'm going to turn this checkbox actually off because I just want to show the example without barcodes for starters. So just six little bits of auto text that I generated. Now I'm just going to select one of my results and click on the reaction dialog box from the edit menu. Now I'll go into my text merge dialog box and I'm going to turn on that checkbox to generate barcodes. And in this case, I'm going to use PDF 417 as my barcode type or barcode symbology. I click on OK and there are my results. Now if I want to edit this at all, I can go back into my reaction dialog box. So if I want to change the type of barcode that I'd like to use, perhaps to data matrix, and also I can change my gap just to give me a little more breathing room. Click on OK and the barcode is done. See F1 help for more complete information. Composer now has barcoding capabilities built right into it and can be used with auto number or auto text. So for this example we'll start with an auto number example. We'll have our pound sign one in there as our auto number denotation then we'll go into repeats and merge. And we'll set up a simple example where we'll create 16 individual auto number examples. We'll create a starting value of 3 and an increment value of 2 and ending value of 33. And in this case we're just going to generate auto text just to give an idea of auto text. Now we're going to show our reaction dialog box, go back into repeats merge, click on the auto number tab, and we're simply going to click on a, a checkbox, generate as barcode. Now we're going to go into the barcode properties tab and choose the type of barcode symbology we'd like to use. So in this case we'll just do a code 39 or code 3 of 9. We'll, we'll generate that and there are our barcode results. Now my results are a little bit close to each other so I just want to increase the amount of space between them. So I'm just going to go back into my auto number tab, into my repeats tab, and increase the amount of gap between my barcode results. And there it is. So barcodes are nicely and smoothly integrated into existing auto number and auto text functionality.